Hello everybody. This is Glenda Fralin with Fralins and Friends Crafts Plus. I've changed that, extended it just a little to be a little more descriptive. So, I <laughs> I have something to confess. It didn't work. I had a fail. It isn't really a fail. It just didn't work, and I'm just going to have to do it a different way. I tried to scorch the wood on that frame. I always rise. <laughs> wow. This is must be a hard wood. It does not like to scorch. You know what? Considering my condition, and <laughs> I mean, I should have at least a couple of darker marks on here. And let's just say with the tool I had, it just wouldn't work. <laughs> so I'm going to have to see what Joe would, is able to do with a torch. But mostly, we're going to go through here and decide on some pictures that we want to cut out and put in the decoupage. So let's get started. Oh, there's a nice chicken. And he's right where he could be cut out with no problem of cutting any part of him off or any section. I think I want to keep him in mind for sure. We'll keep him in mind for sure. Oh, that boy on the fence just kind of looking out. He's gazing off into however far away. Maybe he's wanting to go see his girlfriend. <laughs> Hope you're seeing all this. Uh, well, I've got you out as far as I can go. Hope you're seeing all this. I'll have to. But I think he's just kind of cute. I don't know if I'll use him or not, but we'll... I'm going to take him out because, I mean, you need something human in there. He's probably dreaming of his girl and he's sitting on that fence and probably has too many chores or his mom and dad won't let him go. <laughs> I'm giving him a story. So, I'm going to have to find those other pages, but I think these are a good start. Let's see. I definitely want Mr. Chicken. Oh, wait, I got another book in here. That's the thing. How much you want that? Some of them are in here. I hope I've got this in here. I get interested. There. There's our owl. Or hawk. That's not an owl, that's a hawk. Okay. There's a set of flowers. I could just do those. Cut them out of the page. Oh. Another church there. An old mill house. Hmm. What do you suppose that is? Mine entrance? You know what? I could have been doing that, holding them up for you to see. There's a nice barn. Well, we're not in the desert, so... Oh, what a nice waterfall. I must have already um, cut or... Uh, pulled out the that one boy but I like this one where these on the fence I really do like that and then we've got our chicken hawk I think that's what it is and a chicken 
we'll have to figure out how to put these in there so that they don't that front porch scene probably won't work because I want to put a um, cabin in there somewhere to see if I can use any of this or not beautiful great big flower but I got a lot of other stuff to put in there what was that one thing I saw do you remember that some there was some flower oh there's a barn Reminds me of that that one with the mill. Reminds me of that old song down by the old mill stream. Oh boy, some of you younger ones don't have any idea about that. <laughs> Let's see, this could be somewhere in the background. Looks like I've got a lot of work to do with our pencils and pens and stuff here. I've I'm, this still looks like it's loaded, and it is, but <laughs> there's just so many that I've used up, and a lot of what I have left are the, I think that we've got a good start here. I mean, it is a, a specific amount of room, so... That's a good start. I don't even have them where you can see them. Okay. This is what we got. I've got this boy sitting on a fence. I think I can just cut him out. <laughs> I didn't notice a little bird up there. <laughs> I just now did. That little cabin might work for something in the background, but... Okay, I've got this barn. I like the barn. Or some of these we might just take pieces of. There's a big old rooster. Maybe we could put him on top of the fence with that young man. And there is our chicken hawk. At least he's already colored. <laughs> so, and I did see some odd flowers in there. There was one that had just the right amount of there it is we can put that in there somewhere if I can find that other page I know it's at least got a really good tree in it I gotta remember the amount of room I've got <laughs> that doesn't mean I can't go ahead and Work with them, does it? Ah, oh, there's a camper. I just saw that tent. So this is a good start, I think. When you piece it all together. I forgot about these, whatever, the, whatever it is down there, lavender. I made them a little dark for lavender, but there's a lot of them over here, too. So I think we've got a good plenty to start with as far as that decoupage goes. And we'll have to see what does and what does not fit. Okay. Oh, golly. Look what Joe did for me after he got home. I think that's enough torching, don't you? Oh, I was so happy that he was able to do that right away. Not that I'm going to put anything on, but he's just that kind of guy. Oh, I'm getting on this way. He is the kind of guy who just helps. He helps. 
Anyway, I thought I'd show you what my loving hubby did when he got home after I told him why I was out here. Please subscribe and come back tomorrow. Click the notification bell and give us a thumbs up. I had to think about that one. What do I want? I want a thumbs up. <laughs> I love you all. God bless and be kind. Smile and wave. Good night.